As we talked about in an earlier training video about how to create charts, I've got one here. And what I want to show you is how to add a trend line. A trend line is a line marking in the chart to predict future trends. You could also predict uh, past trends, but we're really looking forward to the future, whether we have sales here to see if we're actually moving ahead in sales. want to make sure that it's going up and not going down. I mean, here it looks pretty obvious, but maybe we want to determine how steep of an incline that uh, we'll be predicting by using a trend line makes it a little bit more solid when we're looking at a direct line as opposed to a bunch of little dots kind of going in and out. In any case, on this chart, to add a trend line, go ahead and right click on any one of those uh, dots, go down to add trend line, and you got a bunch of different types. You have linear, just look at the little icons there. It's a straight line. If you got a bunch of dots or data, it'll kind of curve or weave logarithmically or polynomially. So it won't do a true line to say, okay, this is the way it's going. It says, hey, the trend is kind of going like this, up and down, instead of a solid linear format. I'll go ahead and stay with linear. And then down below, do you want to forecast out maybe a couple of periods? I'll go ahead and do five. And if you want to, you can actually go backwards to see where you came from. Maybe like, we'll do two periods. Let me click and drag and move this out of the way. You can see the line there. If you don't want just a simple black line, you can change the line color to a solid line color, maybe something, well, red looks good. Line style, you can make it a little bit thicker. And then compound, we want it to solid line or two lines. The dash type, we uh, instead of a solid line, we'll do something dash and close out. And looks pretty cool. Even has a legend for it. So it looks like our cells just shoot right up the charts here. Now it doesn't matter what type of chart you have. In fact, if I come up here to the design tab and change the chart type and say it's going to be a column here and click OK, still the same thing. You just right click on one of the columns to add a trend line. In which case, if I go ahead and select something else, it's going to add on top of the trend line that's already there. So I can have more than one trend line, in which case the uh, line color will be solid, maybe something green close out and if you want to get rid of one or the other just go ahead and be sure to select the trend line which oh man this is so tiny I can't see if it's selected there we go you can see the little handles circles on the each end of that trend line that means it's selected you can go ahead and hit the delete key or you can right click on the trend line and go down to delete then we're back to where we started thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video